Hello there, here we are in the uh, beautiful region of Puglia. Today we are in the town of Putignano, a very cute town located in between the two main airports, between Bari Airport and Brindisi Airport. It's actually less well known than some of the other towns and often that means that they remain more authentic than some of the other towns that have become more touristic. But the property we're seeing today is this beautifully restored townhouse it is a three bedroom townhouse, 210 square meters, and it's absolutely stunning. It's very much one of those properties that kind of seems more like a piece of art than necessarily a property. But coming in, so this is the front doorway. Now there are two properties that use this front doorway. So the property that we're seeing today, and there is a property on this first level as well, which does not belong. So this is in common with one of the other properties here. So you can see this lobby way is before you enter and then coming in here, this is where we have the main entrance of the property itself. You can see it's quite a large door here uh, that we have and you immediately have the stairs that bring you up to the next floor and the property itself. So coming up we have you can see immediately the stairs are absolutely beautiful. These are the original Chianche stone stairs. And again, I have told you already, this has been fully restored. So this is a property in the historical center of Putignano and start to come up because it's quite a bit to show you. Now, I'm just gonna show you, this is the corridor area. We do have central heating in this property so it can be lived in all year round. Now, coming back on ourselves, we have this beautiful room here. Now, the owners are uh, a bit of artists and obviously uh, one of them's a photographer as well. So they have an incredible eye uh, and a, they've just created something which to me, it looks like a set that you can just take pictures all day long. Now, look at the beautiful details on the ceilings. Uh, these date back some quite some time ago uh, and it's love that they've managed to recover all the original features of this house. So they've got this kind of set up as a bit of a office stroke workshop here. Uh, this isn't a doorway itself actually, this is just currently a storage room. But depending on what you'd want to do, so you can see they've got it as a little bit of a storage uh, cupboard but you can see potentially if you wanted to change the rooms around, you could actually make this a door into this room here. Now, downstairs I mentioned to you, this property is easily a three bedroom. So they've currently got this as an office and it's set up and you can see it would be perfect as a bedroom as well, but it depends on how you'd actually want to use this property. I think it's absolutely stunning how they've done it and I wouldn't actually want to change anything, but obviously it's gonna depend on your needs. 210 square meters is a lot of property, so there's a lot that you can play around with. You do have the balcony here, which this balcony here faces on to where we entered uh, from Putignano. So again, it's one of these cute historical center roads. There are no cars that drive past here, but one of the really good things about this place is the parking is just outside the historical center and we are just on the border of the historical center. So it's actually, parking is quite decent in this town. And if you guys know from my other videos, parking is always an issue when you're looking in towns, especially the ones that are more popular. So it's a really good thing that Putignano is a little bit less well known. So coming through here, we've got this storage room and uh, really good space to have. We've actually got a bit of a washing room in here as well as a washing machine and they've actually got their clothes uh, tucked away behind. So it's a really nice room to have. Obviously all the cupboard space that you see uh, behind me here, uh, it's lots of space. And the nice thing about this place, which I haven't said anything about, is just how much light comes in. 
because we are getting light from different sides of the house, you can see every side has its own source of natural light. And if you know me by now, I'm always about the natural light and just having as many windows as possible. Again, you can see here we are on the corner getting windows. We've got windows on both sides tons of light coming in here now this they've got set up as a music room but this would potentially be your second bedroom uh, and you can see it's incredibly spacious i love the decor i would really want the house as it is and i really wouldn't want them to change anything because i love the this just little bookshelf here and how they've got it set up is really uh, just a picture in itself, but absolutely beautiful. We've got some nice views from the balcony here. So here we're actually on a different side to the front of the house. So maybe if I let the uh, cameraman just come through just to show them the views uh, from this side of the house. And the nice thing about this property is that it is a townhouse, but it's got three different roof terraces which means you have a whole load of outside space, which is incredible and incredibly important for townhomes to have that outside space as well. So coming around here, you can see they've got a change in the floors here from the parquet floors to back to the kyanke, which we saw in the stairs coming up. I love the variety in the floors and how they've been quite bold with the restoration that they've done. But look how beautiful this bathroom is. The shower is absolutely huge. I love the decor. I think it's really in style with the property. This is a very old property. Again, we're in the historical center of Putignano. So these properties are incredibly old. Massive window in here as well, even for the bathroom area. So really beautiful bathroom. Uh, and this brings us up to the next floor. So coming up these beautiful stairs. Again, the Kyanke, all on the stairs coming up. Now to my left here, we have the kitchen and to my right we have the bedroom. So we'll start just behind here with the bathroom. Now look how amazing this bathroom is. I mean, it's really, you kind of need to see it. It's like stepping into a magazine and you're just like surrounded by beautiful sights everywhere you look. So I love what they've done with this bathroom. This sink, look how big this is. And this is all solid as well as the bath as well. It's all one piece. Uh, and it's been beautifully done. And again, I wouldn't want to change anything, even the plant here uh, might not be the most practical of positions, but incredible altogether. It just looks like a, a magazine, as I say. So, and a really good size bathroom as well. So that caters really to this bedroom up here, uh, which probably would most likely be the master bedroom of them all. And this actually does have uh, a terrace that it faces onto, again, on a different side of the property. We've got the beams on the ceiling. We do have air conditioning on this floor upstairs because it is the floor that gets the warmest, but we've got hidden away air conditioning, which is another really good uh, asset to have. So coming up here, we've got the first outside space uh, and you can see just how pretty the rooftops are around here as well. Now it's even prettier on the other side and you'll see why, but this is a really good size roof terrace. They do have the water up here, so you can actually have your own garden up here or potentially even put a jacuzzi up here. It's actually a really good size and offers you tons of options. Uh, so a really nice addition. And the other thing is, great that it's on the same level as the house because usually with roof terraces when they're upstairs you might not use them as much but when they're on the same level as where you're living it's a much more livable space depending on the time of the day that area gets shade and then i'm going to take you over to the other side and you can see here we've got one of the prettiest and cutest kitchens i've come across I absolutely love this kitchen. I mean, they've been so clever with the restoration. It just feels all very authentic. 
but it's also a very livable space and a very practical home to live in. So you've got the table here for eating and then you've got a good size kitchen here, full size fridge. And again, these ceilings are good size ceilings as well. You're not feeling cramped at all. It is a property that feels bright, airy, spacious and absolutely beautiful in terms of the actual look of it. part of the show for me is this terrace here which has these stunning views onto the church of uh, Putignano. So absolutely beautiful. That is all lit up at night. At the same time they've got this outside garden area which is absolutely stunning. I will insert the drone video just to kind of show you the position of this place in the historical centre. You can see all these plants and if you turn back in on yourself, in the archway they have this bougainvillea which is growing incredibly and it's just such a nice feel to this spot. So when the sun's setting this is where you're going to be dining outside and it just means that you've got all these different spaces to play around with, you know, depending on the time of the day and the time of the year as well, right? So it's really nice to have. And you think the house is finished, but it's absolutely not. There is not one other terrace, but two more terraces above. So arguably, you could really have a whole nother section outside with different areas for different times of the day. So up here, you can see they got the clothes line. You can see the views from up here are even more spectacular. This is the highest point in the house. Now, if you do a little turnaround, but I will show you from the drone as well, just where we are located. Putignano is kind of up on a hillside, so it is raised compared to all the land around, and that's why you can see all the way out to the countryside. But if you come through here, we do have a further couple of steps down, you've got yet another terrace. So I love the idea of creating different ambiences on different levels out here and just using them for different times of the day. Maybe you could have an outside gym up here and it's maybe a bit, a bit uglier than the rest of the house so you can kind of keep it separate, but it just gives you so much more space. So on a 210 square meter property, you really do have all these other options. Now, we will be putting a bit of uh, video footage of Putignano because I know it will be a new area for most of you, um, just to kind of show you how pretty of a town it is because it really isn't lacking anything of the other towns that you know are you know more popular. So if you have any questions on this property or any of the others, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you very much for watching.